up everyone? Welcome to beautiful Reeds Lake. I'm gonna give you a quick tour and give you some info about it. Let's take a look. Yeah. All right, everyone, come take a stroll with me. We are at Waterfront Park, right around the corner from Roses, Gaslight Village, and just the schools and all of that. It's a beautiful place, come take a look. You can fish here, you can do some boating, you can do all kinds of amazing activities. And right now I am currently standing on the Reeds Lake Trail. It's 4.2 miles, it goes all the way around the lake. I would guess thousands of people use it every single day and it's a huge feature of what East Grand Rapids and Reeds Lake offers to everybody in the area. As a local East Grand Rapids resident, I love Reeds Lake. I use it all the time. My wife and I paddleboard on it. We walk the lake all the time. We walk down to Gaslight, and I have been able to represent some of the finest properties on Reeds Lake. And on average, those properties go for a staggering twenty to thirty thousand dollars per linear foot. This much linear foot of frontage on Reeds Lake. It is some of the most prestigious and expensive real estate in the state of Michigan, for sure here in Grand Rapids, West Michigan. So Reeds Lake is 265 acres big. It's an all sports lake, meaning you can see all the boats out here. There's tons of activity on the lake. You can wakeboard, you can sail, you can do all of what you want to do living the lake life. Um, one little known fact for some people new to the area is that in the early 20th century, the park, Ramona's Park, was actually on the shores of Reeves Lake and it had an actual roller coaster. It had musicians that came and stayed for the summers and it was a really iconic piece of history here in East Grand Rapids. And a lot of people don't realize that that is part of East Grand Rapids history unless you are really from here. There's two bodies of water in East Grand Rapids. A lot of people know Reeds Lake because of its size and because of the boatability and the usability of it and really where it's located next to Gaslight Village. The next lake, the second lake, much smaller but in its own right very, very cool and prestigious is Fisk Lake. And I want to take a quick tour of that and tell you some uh, information about it. Come take a look. Like I said, Fisk Lake the second lake in East Grand Rapids is much smaller. It's about 10% the size of Reeds Lake. It comes in at about 26 acres versus 265 over at Reeds Lake. It's a very, very deep lake for the size. It gets really deep. It's got great fishing. And the coolest thing about it, honestly, is it's private. There is no public access anywhere on this lake. So as it Reeds Lake, where anybody can go use it, here the appeal to people that live on Fisk Lake is that no one can access it besides the people that call it home. So take a look around. You'll see beautiful just landscape and amazing homes. The caliber homes are rival that of Reeds Lake, but the price tag comes in uh, considerably less, um, typically about half the cost to live on Fisk Lake as it is to Reeds Lake. Let's go cruise the streets of East Grand Rapids and show you guys around. Doesn't get much better than Gaslight Village on a sunny day. 